Good morning and welcome to PowerPoints on Finance. I know this doesn't apply to you, but you'll have many that you're teaching. Some of you are managers, business owners, and, and you're teaching uh, uh, Bible studies. You, you have employees, you're, you're managing large amounts of people. And one of the things that you'll hear and I hear is that, oh, I don't have to tithe, I'm under the grace, not the law. And now to me, that's the most ridiculous statement because first of all, grace takes the law and makes it more difficult, not easier. Like for instance, it says don't commit adultery, but what Jesus said, the, the law was don't commit it. That means you physically have an adulterous act, don't do that. But Jesus says if you even look on a woman with lust, you've committed adultery. And so, so to say that you're under grace as if that lessens the law is an absurd uh, statement that is just not true. But I want you to understand that you can under, undergirt yourself that what you're doing is right by bringing first fruits and tithes to the Lord. In Matthew 5, 17 through 20, it says, Do not think, Jesus said, Do not think that I came to destroy the law of the prophets or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill them. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth passes away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till it is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of these, the least of these commandments, and teaches men so, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great, uh, great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisee, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So, first of all, our righteousness is in Christ, but there is a blessing for those who teach it correctly, and there is a curse for those that do not teach it correctly. So that's why, one of the reasons you could say, why are you teaching this on PowerPoints? Because there's been enough PowerPoints that have gone out now, I think we're at about 18, you should already be seeing some financial breakthroughs happening in your life, and people are going to ask you, how do you do it? And you don't need to be afraid to say, I'm bringing tithes and first fruits into the Lord, I'm keeping my attitude right, I'm making proclamation, and when they come back and they say, oh, I don't have to do that, I'm under grace, you need to be able to say, well, let's go to Matthew 5, 17 through 20 and see what the Word of God says. Because you need to be blessed to be able to transform and give away the knowledge that you're learning. So I want to pray for you now. Father, I thank you that for each one that is being transformed, Lord, we're about 18, 20 weeks out. And Lord, I thank you for the abundance of, of blessings that are coming in to each one of our lives. But anoint us to communicate, multiply, and bring the kingdom from heaven to the kingdom of earth with your ways and principles. Lord, anoint us and use us to be able to teach your people well. In Jesus' name, I'll see you tomorrow morning.